Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may notice an image, a message, a keyword that really resonates for you, your life, your situation. That's a direct message from Spirit. So take notice of these and just take what resonates from the reading and just leave what doesn't. So let's take a look at your first card. Rescuing yourself. Today, I will not wait for someone to come to my aid. I'm not helpless. Although help may come, I'm my own rescuer. My relationships will dramatically improve when I stop rescuing others and stop expecting others to rescue me. So this is quite a powerful message. This week there needs to be an awareness of your energy and where it's going. Are you giving too much energy away by rescuing others, as it says on this card, and not keeping enough for yourself? Are you giving away your power somehow? Because as it says on this card, you are not helpless and you can be your own rescuer. So there's an empowering energy here with this card that I love don't need to rely on someone or others in some respect. There's a there's an independent energy here, an empowering energy, Gemini. And your next card from this deck is about taking time for meditation and prayer. And it says, today I will take a moment for meditation and prayer. I know that I'm a creation of God and he loves me. God, through meditation and prayer, I have faith that I will hear you when you talk to me and you will listen when I talk to you. So there's also an aspect of faith that's being mentioned here with this card. Prayer and meditation will be extremely powerful for you. Your prayers, your intentions, your heart's desire, your wish, it will be heard. It will be heard. And at some stage when the timing is right, that wish will be granted. Your prayer will be answered. So take time for meditation and prayer or Something that is calming to the mind so you can center and you can ground. Let's take a look at this deck, Gemini. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Guidance for Gemini. The Ascension Flame. And the key word here is liberation. Liberation is a powerful thing. Moving into freedom in some way, Gemini. A sense of greater purpose and high expectations. You do not need to lower your expectations about something this week. You can have and should, and rightly so, have high expectations of someone, of something. You may, in fact, have a sense of a greater purpose. And this, in fact, will feel liberating. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this card. Archangel Michael. Heart of a warrior. Divine protection. Synchronicity. Expect some synchronicities to happen this week. Expect them to because with this card showing up, they will come into your life. You have divine protection 
in your day-to-day affairs, you have divine protection. And you have the heart of a warrior. You're not going to give up on yourself. You're not going to give up on something. You're not going to give up. That's what spirit is saying to me very clearly. So persist. You have the heart of a warrior. Let's see what this deck reveals, Gemini. Guidance for Gemini, please, spirit. Yes, this one here. Fear is not justified in any form. The Holy Spirit will help you reinterpret everything that you perceive as fearful to teach you that only what is loving is true. And this will come through meditation, through prayer, a release of any fear, a realization will occur. And the next card from this deck is, let me not see myself as limited. Perhaps you've been doing this. Perhaps you have been doing this, Gemini, in some way. It may be limitation financially. It may be limitation relationship-wise. In some way, you have been limiting your yourself. Let's see what it says. Who would attempt to fly with the tiny wings of a sparrow when the mighty power of an, of an eagle has been given him? Yes. So you have you have more, you have more abundance, you have more coming to you. You have more positive things coming to you. But there's a limitation, there's a cap on what you have wanted for yourself or a belief system something like this is going on so meditation and prayer may be helpful for that as well let's take a look at this deck gemini okay this card here you have an archangel energy beautiful archangel Raphael. you are blessed to attract this angel card for Archangel Raphael brings health, healing and abundance. He will help you to develop your intuition and inner vision. Call on him if you need help in these areas now. He also protects travelers during journeys. So this is a fortuitous card. If you are about to travel. If you are a healer or wish to be one, Archangel Raphael will direct pure divine energy to you. He works on the green ray of healing and balance. So visualize yourself surrounded by a clear green light and invoke his guidance. And the affirmation here is, I am happy, healthy and abundant. Beautiful. And the next card for you from this deck is generosity. Generosity is a quality of spirit. It is rejoicing in the good fortune of others, even when you have nothing to celebrate yourself. It is an attitude of mind, which means that you are happy to give without experiencing or expecting, without expecting in return. Drawing this card invites you to be generous hearted and indicates that you are ready to aspire to this noble quality angel wisdom suggests that you give of yourself freely openly and lovingly the rewards for generosity are great for all that you give from an open heart is returned to you multiplied and this is so true and the affirmation is i am generous hearted beautiful Absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look now at this deck, Gemini. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. 
Okay, this card here to begin with. And it's the Queen of Pentacles. A very nurturing energy. And it's specifically relating to your finances, your material manifest life. It might be linked into your work life, perhaps. But there's a caring, there's a nurturing, there's a growth that you're wanting. There's a reflection upon this area of life this week. And the Five of Cups is your next card. So the Five of Cups means there has been a loss or a disappointment, or perhaps you've come close to this feeling recently. It may in fact show up over the next week, but it's a temporary energy, so don't fret. You also have the Four of Cups, and this indicates there is a new opportunity coming in for you. So if something is taken away from you or you feel that there is or has been an emotional loss or loss of something, maybe materially because you have the pentacle above it, it will be returned to you or there will be another thing that is better that's actually coming your way. So that's the message of the Four of Cups for you. And you also have the Three of Cups. What a beautiful card. The Three of Cups is harmony amongst others. So there is a desire, a want, a need for harmony and companionship of the heart. And I'm seeing with the Three of Cups, those connections will be made beautiful and you have the sun you have two beautiful cards here the sun is about vibrancy things being out in the open no more hidden things happiness the beautiful sunflowers being in your joy and releasing yourself from any fear or anything that's holding you back so there's freedom here also so you have a beautiful set of cards here coming through for you, Gemini. You have an amazing week coming up ahead for you from what I can see. And this energy might be playing out over a longer period of time for you. That is also possible. So I hope this reading has been helpful for you. It's been a pleasure to read for you. Take care, Gemini, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.